Let's have a look at um, a way to set up um, price slices for a break even and um, trying to visualize um, not only risk profile, but also understand uh, probability of profit for any given trade. Um, in this example, we are using Lenar. Um, we modeled a trade 97 half 105 call debit spread for $3.60 debit. Um, this is what the risk profile will look like. And to figure out what our probability of profit for this trade, what we need to do, number one, in the upper right corner, we need to select the correct expiration date. So we are using August 20th expiration. So we put uh, the date up here, um, 821. And on the right hand side, there is a menu icon. We go to set slices to break even and break even has to be 821 that's our expiration break even this is going to move the price slice to a break even which is at 10112 and we can figure out um, break even for this call spread right if i'm buying a 97 half 105 and i pay three dollars and sixty cents we can figure out our break even for this trade, we have to add 360 to 97 half. So 97.5 plus 3.6 gives us a break even at 101.10. So thinkorswim put it at 101.12, but that's close enough. So now we know that this is our break even, and based on current implied volatility, there is about a 45% probability that price is going to be on the right side of the break even, which means the trade is going to make at least a penny or more. And there's about a 55% uh, probability that um, this stock is going to finish somewhere below the break even, meaning that this trade is going to not make at least a penny or it's going to be a loser. So again, um, to, fit, to, to set up uh, Thinkorswim to display uh, implied probability of profit for a trade, first we have to do is um, select our expiration date up here. We go to this menu. We uh, click on the menu. We go to set slices. Uh, from there, we go to break even. And on the break even, we select our expiration date. This is going to put the, sl the price slice right at a break even for the trade. And then based on implied volatility, it'll give us two numbers, one for probability of profit. And the other one is going to be a probability of loss.